Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. I know you've all completed now your IGCSE 0580 paper two. So really well done, whichever variant you have done across the world. And I want to show you how you can use Cambridge's own paper two to actually help you really well prepare for paper four. Now, thank you to Maj here. So just shared this literally an hour ago on my YouTube channel and actually went through all the topics that he or she could remember from the particular paper two that they did. And what I would do with this information, so I'm not saying this information is correct, but if you have this information or you remember what was on the paper two, you can use this to filter which topics you revise for for paper four. So if we go through this, we have a stats question here. Uh, question four, we've got transformations. This was a sequences question has been mentioned on the channel already. We've got probability. Now fractions is usually a paper two topic anyway. We've got variation here and proportionality, functions, circle theorems, and then coordinate geometry here. So these are the topics that Maj has given us. And what I would do is use my paper four predictions, which if you haven't seen already, then do check out the video above, and compare and contrast. So for example, statistics has already come up. So I'm gonna put a little cross by here, although it does often do come up here on paper four as well. But I'm gonna go through the topics here. Coordinate geometry, for example, down here. I'm gonna put a cross through this. I think that's now appeared. If we go through variation and proportion, uh, that's right down at the bottom here. So I'm gonna cross this one out. Sequences, again, is usually quite a common topic, but not really on paper four. So as you can see here, I'm going through these particular topics, probability, transformations, topics that have already appeared. And by doing this, you can really then hone down your revision for paper four. Now notice the big topics here, you should always revise. Even though I put a cross by statistics, I would still say, hmm, 100% of the time, I'm still gonna revise this. But notice I've knocked out one, two, three different topics, which could have taken a lot of your revision time tomorrow. Whereas vectors hasn't come up, so this would now be more promoted to an almost certain. Number skills almost always comes up as well. And again, you can then start considering some of these topics down here, although circle theorems has already appeared. So by using this elimination method, you can really, really focus your revision. And if you're looking for a predictive paper to go through, or exactly what I think will be in your exam, then do check out the video right in front of you.